the Duke and Duchess of Sussex tied the knot at a lavish ceremony in 2018, held at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, had flown from California to attend, making her the only member of Meghan's family present. Her father, Thomas Markle, was in hospital with serious heart problems, so Prince Charles offered to walk Meghan down the aisle instead. However, her response was not quite what he was expecting according to royal author Robert Hardman. In an extract of his new book, Queen of Our Times, The Life of Elizabeth II published by Macmillan on March 17, Mr. Hardman wrote, feeling for his future daughter-in-law, the Prince of Wales offered to step in, saying he would be honored to escort Meghan up the Isle of St. George's Chapel to the altar. The reply, according to one friend, was not quite what he was expecting, can we meet halfway? Here was an indicator that this was no blushing bride, but a confident, independent woman determined to make a grand entrance on her own. In other news, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex famously stepped back from their royal roles and moved to the U.S. two years ago. They now live in Montecito, a leafy-gated neighborhood in California just up the coast from Los Angeles. Meghan and Harry have spoken at length about the pressures they faced from the media during their time in the royal family. In their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview, Harry claimed that a lack of support and lack of understanding was behind his and Meghan's decision to move away from their royal lives. The Duke also said the decision to leave the UK was to get away from the press and because of what he perceived as a lack of support from his family. Reports went on to suggest there was a certain tension between Harry and Meghan and other members of the royal family. The fallout and subsequent events are charted and examined in tonight's Channel 5 documentary, Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy, in which royal experts like Ashley Pearson dissect the ins and outs of the saga. In the program, Ms. Pearson described, described the extraordinary first meeting Meghan had with Harry's grandmother, the Queen. She said, the meeting went extremely well. It actually ran over which is an extraordinary thing for the way the Queen keeps her schedule. Meghan was warmly welcomed. Here she is, articulate, bright, intelligent, well-spoken, beautiful, elegant, what is not to like. Meghan gave her own account of this meeting in the Oprah interview, saying she had met Her Majesty at Royal Lodge. The Windsor Royal residences where Prince and Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, have historically been based. Meghan said she and Harry were going for lunch there and were joined by the Queen who had been giving a church service in Windsor nearby. She told Oprah that she did not know how to curtsy and had to practice the gesture on the way in. Meghan said, I thought genuinely that's what happens outside, that was part of the fanfare, I didn't think that's what happens inside. Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy also features former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond, who discussed Meghan's first meeting with Prince Charles. She said, meeting your in-laws is always a bit of an ordeal isn't it? Meeting your in-laws when one is going to be a future king, meeting Prince Charles, must have been quite tough for Meghan, or a little bit daunting. But she is a strong woman. She probably marched in there and just got on famously. Because she is a woman with lots of opinions, lots of views, and a confident woman. Those are the kind of attributes that Charles likes. Ms. Pearson also gave on her own take on Meghan and Charles' meeting. She said, Charles famously adored Meghan. That first meeting went extraordinarily well. The commentator added that Meghan was welcomed as a daughter when she met Charles.